The month of April 2014 will be remembered as a great month in the history of the Church for the canonization of two popes, John Paul II and John XXIII. Beatos Ioannem Vicesimum Tertium et Ioannem Paulum Secundum, Sanctos Esse Decernimus et Definimus. The ceremony also provided a unique moment in the Church history. Four popes were together in St. Peter's Square. Francis, Benedict XVI, John Paul II, and John XXIII. In front of a sea of thousands of people, Pope Francis said that the newly canonized pope showed the world the goodness of God. Sono stati due uomini coraggiosi, pieni della parresia dello Spirito Santo, che hanno dato testimonianza alla Chiesa e al mondo della bontà di Dio Della sua misericordia. But the day began many hours earlier in St. Peter's Square. <laughs> Almost one million pilgrims came to Rome. Each one had a personal history related with the popes. I was just a child, but I remember during the council when John XXIII said, when you get home, caress your children and tell them it comes from the Pope. My name is John Paul because of the Pope. She, she served him food at lunch, the, lunch. lunchtime. Lunch with the cardinals at the uh, St. Joseph Sisters Convent. That's me there. Uh, we are from Poland. Uh, we uh, come here from Brodnica. We run uh, 2,000 kilometer in seven days. Dozens of leaders from around the world came for the canonizations. Some, such as the King and Queen of Spain, took advantage of their stay in Rome to visit Pope Francis. It was only two months later that King Juan Carlos I would abdicate the throne in favor of his son, Felipe VI. During the month of April, Pope Francis met with two other monarchs. He held a meeting with the King of Jordan, Abdullah II, on April 7th, several weeks before his visit to the Holy Land. And on April 3rd, he met with Queen Elizabeth II of England and her husband, the Duke of Edinburgh. The Pope gave her a gift for her great-grandchild, Prince George of Cambridge. It was also the second Holy Week for Pope Francis as Pontiff. On Holy Thursday, he celebrated the Mass of the Lord's Supper at a center for the disabled, elderly, and sick people. There, he washed the feet of 12 patients, among them 86-year-old Angelica. For the Pope, the weak and the vulnerable must be at the heart of the Church. For this reason, on April 11th, he asked forgiveness for the abuse of children committed by priests. Me siento interpelado a hacerme cargo de todo el mal que, los, que algunos sacerdotes, bastantes, bastantes en número, no en comparación con la totalidad. It was during a meeting with members of the International Catholic Child Bureau, which promotes the defense of rights of children worldwide. Another tragedy close to the life of the Church is that of immigration. In order to bring it to the world's attention, the bishops of the United States and Mexico celebrated a joint mass on the border to remember those who have abandoned their country in search of a better future. April 2014 came and went without stopping at the Vatican, 30 days in which the Eternal City was visited by a record number of pilgrims. 30 days in which the Church overwhelmingly celebrated the canonization of two revolutionary popes.